Hi guys, I'm going to explain what exactly is going on in the energy monitor of the Prius C dashboard. Right now, I'm stopping at a red light, waiting to move when the light turns green. You probably are already familiar. Uh, this is the battery, this is the electric motor, and that is the internal combustion engine. When we are stored, you can see on the meter here, nothing is going on. No power goes through the wheels, however, battery is still drawn to power various auxiliary functions such as the lights and your radio and the air cones so the battery will still drain when you stopped after an extended period of time then when you when you press the gas pedal slowly the battery is drawn by the electric motor to power the wheels as you can see from the arrows then you continue to press the gas pedal more drastically for acceleration. The engine kicks in to power the wheels, plus the green arrow coming from the battery is actually also used to drive the wheels. Now fuel consumption here is reduced because battery is used to help with acceleration. Then we come to normal driving which is the most frequent stage that you will be driving your Prius in there are two different scenarios here which I don't normally find information on the internet easily now I'm going to explain to you the first scenario here is the engine gives power to the wheels plus it also powers the electric models that transfer the powers to the wheels and at the same time the power from the engine to the electric models also slightly or normally recharge the battery second scenario here is that the engine powers the wheels it also powers the electric models however all the powers that is supplied to the electric models is used to recharge the battery and hence you can see the blue color arrow going to the battery compared to the green color arrow meaning blue color arrow means a much higher intensity to recharge the battery and the green arrow means a lower intensity to recharge the battery along the way as you coast your car or you brake the car electric models provide some frictions on the spinning wheels slowing the car as well as recharge the battery so you see no power comes out from the engine this is mainly where you get your free fuel mileage because as long as you glide your car not even one drop of fuel is used and this is where hybrid car really outshines the conventional cars you will see on the middle the fuel consumption actually improve the longer you glide your car another scenario you often encounter when driving a hybrid car is engine charge after a cold engine start say you have parked the cars for over 12 hours or overnight the engine needs to warm up to maximize efficiency at this stage, the engine continues to run even if there is no power directed from the engine to the wheels. It happens even if you don't press the gas pedals, even if the battery is full. Needless to say, 
Engine charge also starts when the battery is low and you are not driving or gliding that provides the battery the power it needs. During engine charge, the fuel consumption goes up a lot and there's nothing you can do about it. You just need to let the hybrid system run its course. So right now I've arrived at my home, I'm going to reverse and park my car all using only battery. I hope this video has helped you to understand hybrid cars better and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave your comments below and let me know if you're thinking to get a hybrid car or you have already owned one and enjoyed it that's it for this video see you in the next one